video on Resolve, the most innovative and comprehensive distribution solution developed for SAP Business One. Resolve is developed within the SAP Cloud Platform utilizing standard SAP web-based technologies such as SAP Fiori, UI5, Web IDE, various services within the SAP Cloud Platform, the Business One service layer, all running on top of the SAP HANA database. As SAP brings the service layer into the SQL version of Business One, it is our intention to also move the entire Resolve web client also to support SQL. We also utilize other standard internet and web-based development tools such as IoT, machine learning, JavaScript, OData, and more. We believe we have the most comprehensive single distribution solution developed for SAP Business One. Resolve consists of 16 different modules, all running within a single 64-bit lightweight add-on in Business One. Our applications range from logistics modules such as our 3PL integration, our freight management, our container tracking program, our new truck routing solution, and recently the integration to Uber Freight. We also have a robust warehouse management solution, advanced inventory planning, equipment rental, quality control, and more. Now let's take a look at Resolve running in SAP Business One 10.0 with our Fury-based web client. We originally developed and released this utilizing Fury in 2015 to coincide with the release of SAP Business One 9.2. Our Resolve mobile and cloud suite handles all aspects of distribution within the Fury client. Users can handle picking, packing, shipping, vehicle routing, SAP purchase order receiving, container receiving, inventory, SAP productions, RMAs, if you have our equipment rental module, that's in there as well. We've also incorporated license plates processing within a warehouse, SAP's physical inventory and cycle counts, order to cash. We also have a wide range of analytics, reports and forms, bin movement, quality control, and order reservation. Let's take a little bit deeper of a look into each one of these areas. Let's first start looking at the picking area. We support all of SAP picking list transactions and we further enhance those transactions within the mobile device. So besides doing picks, we could also do a pack. This will lead to and integrate with a wide range of shipping carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL. These package or packages will have individual breakdowns all the items within those packages. We now have our vehicle routing systems. Using your own trucks, you can do a full routing solution. It ties directly into a wide range of mapping solutions via API. Our receiving application, again, supports all of SAP's transactions, and we add some additional functionality, such as the license plates as part of the receiving, the utilization of the camera. So if you are doing a PO receiving, and there's damaged goods, you can have that, uh, take a picture of that damaged item and, and have it pass through to SAP's PO goods receipt, as well as having line item notes that you can put on within the device that is then uploaded into Business One when we post the transaction. You'll see here, we've done a PO receiving, but we have individual license plates or pallet IDs that are put within SAP's business bins. Again, you'll see the PO goods receipt has been created and there's the note that the warehouse worker put into the software as well as the time and dates. Next we have the inventory. Again, we support all of SAP's transactions for good issues and good receipts and warehouse transfers. We've also added in a bulk bin, bin transfer functionality, SAP Business One production orders, picking, assembly, disassembly, and we've included a new functionality to request material during the production run. If you have our equipment rental module, you can do equipment rental picks, returns, and you can do a return by serial number. We support SAP's physical inventory and cycle counts. Our order to cash module provides visibility into any transaction by customer, vendor, or item. So from the browser, from the device, users can quickly see any SAP transaction, a warehouse transaction, directly from the device, a tablet, a browser, filters that limit the data that you're, you're selecting and retrieving. And finally, again, through the service layer, we'll display all the records that meet the criteria that we've selected. All of the columns can be sorted and there's filtering capabilities as well. So you can select just the specific data that you'd like to select. And by clicking on any of the line items, drill down and select all of the detailed data for that particular transaction. Again, I can do the same thing for the invoices, really any of the transactions by customer, vendor for purchase orders, items, so it's, it's sales and purchasing items. 
The analytics will provide a series of reports, give visibility into bin level details of how much quantities you have in your bins and the contents within each individual bin. This will include by item and serial number as well. Our warehouse planning calendar will give distributors visibility into all of the activities going on in the warehouse for a specific date range. This is a great planning tool for a logistics manager to get visibility, plan labor within their warehouse. For our movement modules, we have bin replenishments, directed put away, cross stock, and our last two modules are quality control. This allows users to do QC processing of related to SAP transactions such as purchase orders, productions, returns, and so forth. And lastly, we have our order reservations module. The order reservations module allows you to allocate incoming inventory from purchase orders, productions, transfers, or existing inventory to outbound sales. So the scenario here is if you don't have enough inventory in stock, but you do have some coming in on an inbound transaction, such as a purchase order, it can be allocated or, or reserved specifically for those customers in bins, well, reservation bins. Finally here, I'm looking at one of our search capabilities. This is doing a query on an item. And from here, I can get any information I want about the item uh, or a bin location and all the activities, sales transactions, purchasing transactions, and item details directly from the browser. I thank you for taking the time today again to look at this video. If you're an SAP partner attending the Innovation Summits, I look forward to meeting you in person and providing more detailed information on Resolve for SAP Business One. Thank you.